Hello everyone, this is Meats, and this is going to be my review for um, Super D4 Master Gundam from the G Generation F. And here's the box art again. So here's a cute little guy. I've only added the eye stickers and a little bit of pal lining on the face mask. But I really like the head design. And this is without the ears yet. I'll add that later. So when we attach the torso. Which can I see a straight back right, right over there? So most of the polycaps are just straight yeah, with a straight peg, and it does hinder the mobility. Go side to side, and it can go 360. But I'm gonna stop doing that <laughs> for the head. And for shoulder, you have this um, connects with a straight peg right there. So um, you can remove the shoulder armor, and it's hollow in the back, but you'll be covering that, so no problem there. And I guess this is another thing I like about this kit, the shoulder armor. Looks pretty cool. And um, think of maybe panel lining that um, groove right there. And um, articulation wise for the uh, shoulder, you can go around, you have that poly cup right there, you can rotate, and can go up, not quite 90 degrees. Um, sadly, you cannot go sideways up this way, because you only have that mobility there. Yeah. Um, for the feet, straight peg again. Next there. So you can only move side to side. Yep. In ways, pretty much, there's nothing hinder it. You can go 360, no problem. And uh, let's see what else. Why don't we attach the wings? Here's one of the wings or binders. It's um, connected with this piece right here in sandwich way. These two pieces no poly caps and it touches right there yep it's quite secure there you go and you can fold them and um, I guess the last part will attach the ears or whatever they call it that <laughs> And um, pretty much there's slits over here, and as you can see here, it's right there. So I'm quite happy they did that, so you can detach it. I'm not sure if they've done this to the um, the one one hundred scale, I think. But I kind of wish they make this on the you know since they're making the high grade God Gundam. I'm wondering now if they're gonna make a high grade uh, master gun. It'll be cool. So there it is. And let's put this back. Oh, regarding this Viffin, as you can see, this is red. They molded this on black. Hmm, why not red? They do have the stickers, but you know, stickers are easily peels off. So why not mold that in red? Hmm. I wish they did, but right now it looks pretty good. <laughs> you can do um, certain poses, like on the box. I think they he will goes like this, twist this around, have the wings. <laughs> pretty cool figure. Um, it does require a lot, you know, a lot of possibilities for customizing, especially for the hands. I kind of don't like that, you know, karate chop. I wish they do do something like that on the box art, you know, like open claw. It'll be more cooler, in my opinion, because this kit is everything. In this kit is here. There's no beam sabers or anything. Yeah, I wish they added more. I mean, hand options. But yeah, definitely going to improve that arm, especially if I wanted to go sideways. 
might experiment on that. For the feet, might add some legs. That'll be tricky. <laughs> Other than that, it looks great. Um, I really like the head and the shoulder armor, and as well as the binders. It's pretty cool. Yep, um, that's the review for the Super D4 Master Gundam. I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, stay tuned. I'll probably get back to this guy again and do some improvements. Again, this is Meets. Thank you for watching.